Hi friends, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 15 in Azure Data Factory Real-Time Scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to fetch pipeline details using dynamic annotations in Azure Data Factory. So let's see our requirement in details. So as you can see in the first image, suppose there is a functionality that is running for multiple occurrences, which means suppose this pipeline is getting triggered inside for each and it is running for multiple instances as you can see okay so by default what happens is in order to check the pipeline execution details we have to go inside each of these instance and we have we can see what is the input and output of this pipeline and then we will be able to detect okay for this particular folder this pipeline instance is running for this folder this is running okay so similarly, if uh, you are running a copy activity within this pipeline, then you will be able to see inside uh, each of this instance for uh, this table, this particular run is happening. And for this table, this instance is running. But our requirement is inside this monitor tab itself, I should have a capability to check for which occurrence or for which property th this pipeline is running. Okay. So as you can see in the next image, we should be able to add this annotation which is nothing but a tag associated with each instance of the pipeline. Okay, So here you can see if I click on this uh, annotation icon, it will tell me for input folder this particular instance is running. For demo folder, the another one is running. Similarly, for ADLS input folder, this one is running. Okay, So similarly, if there are multiple occurrences of the same pipeline, I should be able to know for which uh, property or for which folder or table this is running. Okay. So let me go to ADF portal and let me uh, start creating a pipeline. First, let me tell you what we are going to achieve. So it will be similar to what we have done in our previous videos. So let me go to ADLS storage account. And here you can see there are lots of folders. So in each folders, there are few files. Okay. So basically, we will fetch out the list of all the folders present in the ADLS uh, storage account. And then inside each of these folders we will iterate and we will get the file names present in the uh, folder okay so as we have to call one master pipeline so as you can remember from our past videos uh, to iterate through each of the folders we will call another child pipeline so we want to know for which folder that particular child pipeline is running through this monitor tab okay so here in this annotation we want to get the details for which particular instance this pipeline is running. Okay. So let me start creating the pipeline. Let me rename it as get folder list. Okay. And here, first of all, let me use get metadata activity to point our data set to uh, the storage account so that we will get the list of all the folders present within the storage account. So let me uh, get ADLS gen2 and let me select any of the formats and let me select the existing link service so in the file path i'm not going to select any uh, particular folder i'm leaving it as blank and let me click on ok now in field list let me select child items so if i debug this what it will do is it will give me the list of all the folders present in my ADLS storage account okay so let's wait yeah so if i see the output you can see all the folder names uh, is present within child items array okay now we want to iterate through each of the folders and then we will get the file names present in each of the folders okay so let me connect for each with get metadata activity and here let me use uh, output of get metadata with child item as the property name in the items of for each okay now inside this i want to get the uh, name of all the files present in each of the folders okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use execute pipeline that will call another child pipeline where we can use for each uh, to iterate through each of the folders okay so here as i don't have the child pipeline ready so let me create a new pipeline and this pipeline i'll na name it as get file file list okay and now let me first create a parameter that will basically get me the name of folders one by one which we are getting out of this get metadata okay so we can use item dot name right item dot name that we can pass from master pipeline to the child pipeline so let me 
give the parameter name as folder name and here let me go to the execute pipeline as you can see this parameter section has been added and here in the value we can pass on the value to the next pipeline so let me use item dot name okay so it will get the name of the folders one by one okay now let me use get metadata activity and here we will create a dynamic data set that will be pointing to each of the folders one by one okay so let me make this uh, parameterized so let me uh, let me click on ok for now and let me reopen it and here in the parameters i am going to add a parameter called folder name and the same i will be using it here and now we have to provide the value for that parameter so let me use this pipeline parameter that is nothing but it is getting the name of folder one by one right so the same thing we are going to use it here in the get metadata activity of child pipeline and in the fill list let me use child items that is going to give me the list of all the files present in each folder okay so let me publish all these changes yeah so the publishing has been completed now let me trigger this pipeline so pipeline execution has been started now let me go to monitor tab and let me hit on refresh so you can see get folder list this pipeline has been invoked by manual triggering okay and this pipeline invoked multiple child pipelines as you can see get file list has been invoked multiple times and and some of them are in progress and some of them succeeded let me refresh so you can see all the child pipelines succeeded so now as you can see in the monitor tab we are not able to find out for which particular folder this pipeline ran right in order to get the information i have to go inside this instance then i'll have to click on this input of get metadata so as we'll be able to know for this particular folder this instance ran okay similarly for other instance as well i have to go inside each of these instances and i have to check inside the input that this is the folder name for which this particular instance ran okay so suppose i have uh, hundreds of uh, folders and this pipeline ran for 100 times then it will be a hectic job to go inside each of the runs and then check the input right so in order to avoid that hard work what we can do is we can introduce something called annotation here okay now the important point is annotation won't be available in debug run so if i go inside debug run let me open it so you can see there is no column called annotation even this edit columns has been disabled for debug so if i go to trigger you can see this edit column is there and if you are not able to see annotation if your uh, uh, column looks like this then you can simply go in uh, this option called add columns and you can add this annotation you can uh, keep it anywhere you want so that it will be displayed in the same order okay so basically what i want to tell is annotation will be only available in trigger mode okay if you run the pipeline in debug mode you will not be able to see this section okay now let me go back to the pipeline so i am going so what i'm going to do is i'm going to the child pipeline that is get file list and here if i click on this icon it will show the properties of this pipeline okay so here there is something called annotation and here if i click on new it is asking me for the name of this annotation so as you can see there is no add dynamic content option here which means will be in a in an assumption that we we cannot make this annotation dynamic but that is not the case let me go inside this for each and let me copy this expression that we have added for folder name and let me paste the same expression here okay so what i did is i am calling the pipeline parameter that is the folder name which we are getting dynamically for each run so i am passing the same in this annotation okay now let me publish this change yeah so the changes has been published now let me re trigger the master pipeline yeah so the pipeline execution has been started now let me go to monitor tab let me hit on refresh 
So you can see the master pipeline has been started executing and it would be calling the child pipelines. So let us wait. Yeah. So you can see multiple instances has been called and now this annotation is also added and you can see that icons and if I click on each of the icons so you can see this instance is running for input folder. Similarly, this is running for demo folder. Okay. So here I am able to see which particular folder is taking what time. Okay. So let me refresh. Yeah. So each of the instance is giving us the details that we want. Okay. So similarly, this can be used in multiple uh, cases or multiple scenarios. So this is how we can make monitoring of a pipeline execution easier. Okay. So that is it for this video guys. I hope you like the content. So please like the video and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. Thank you so much.